the second player from Japan to be drafted, and this is a huge deal culturally. There are 46 media members representing 23 outlets from Japan, and it's more than any other country aside from the United States. His name means baseball base. His grandfather was a huge baseball fan. He came to Gonzaga, barely speaking English, acclimated himself quickly, but Mark Few told me this week he's such a polite guy that he was flabbergasted early on by the fact that sometimes his teammates would lie about fouls and the score in pickup games. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Oh, wow. Can you imagine guys doing that? <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Shai, by Hashem Rechak Wadash, that were honest to the apostles and the elders, whom the Most High has set up as the true leaders of Israel, who are better known as Great Millstone, that has continued with the priestess truth, all right, without taking breaks, nonstop, all right, and um, salutations unto the elect throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, and sincere Akim that's continuing to push this word, all right. Um, I'm the brother, I'm Wamanatazak, back with another um, uh, video, quick video epistle, uh, quick video. Um, Rui Hachimura, all right, just want to ask you a quick question. Is this an Israelite, all right? Now, um, you know, I was watching some uh, NBA um, highlights, all right, and um, I was watching this dude play, and, um, man, this, this dude is a Jake, okay? This dude is an Israelite, all right? That's the first thought that came to my mind, you know? Um, just watching him play. Go check out his highlights, man, you know? And, um, you know, the spirit just said, you know, look up his, um, just, just do some quick research, you know, and it led me to uh, Wikipedia. And uh, when you go to his Wikipedia, um, his, his mother is a Japanese, all right? She's from Japan, but his father is um, from West Africa, okay? One of those countries in West Africa. I, be I believe it's um, Nigeria, but I might be wrong, all right? But it's one of those countries in West Africa. And... Um, it's a known fact that those um, um, people living over there in West Africa, they are not Hamites, man, okay? There's a totally different spirit of um, the people living in West Africa opposed to the people that's living in uh, East Africa, okay, which are actually Hamites, all right, those in East Africa, all right? But even amongst them, you have uh, Israelites, all right, because I know a lot of Benjamites, uh, I've spoke to a, um, a Benjamite that told me that there's a lot of... Um, Benjamites in Ethiopia, okay, and and a lot of other uh, places. I spoke to a, a guy in Congo, all right, that said there's a lot of Israelites in Congo, all right, and I think that dude was an Israelite, you know. So Israelites, Israelites are scattered, Israelites being the so ignorantly so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, you know, are scattered throughout all nations on this planet, man, all right. And who's been teaching that nonstop for, for years? The apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, okay, on down, you know. But, hey, this is a cut to all these dudes that don't believe that Israelites are in these other uh, different nations and they're going to come out looking like these other different nations, all right? You're going to have Israelites looking like uh, so-called Jews, man. You're going to have Israelites looking like so-called uh, Africans, all right? So-called Japanese, as you see here, so-called Chinese, like Bruce Lee, all right? And uh, so-called Edomites, you know, so-called Ishmaelites, which are the Arabs, all right? There's still a lot of Israelites over there in that region, man, all right, in that Middle East region. Okay, you, you'll never know. You'll think they're Arabs, you know. But, hey, man, just wanted to bring this out real quick, you know, as proof that Israelites are throughout the four corners of the earth, all right. And um, this, we, we are scattered everywhere, all right, and we're going to look like different nations, man. All right, and that's, ri that's written right here in the scriptures. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even to the other, Okay. So this is pursuant to the curses in Deuteronomy 28, all right, 28 and 15, verse 15 on down to 68, okay? So a part of the curses is, is us being scattered amongst all nations on this earth, all right, from one end to the earth, uh, from one end of the earth, even unto the other, okay? So that's the whole entire globe, man, the, or, the Greek word orkimene, okay, the whole inhabitable globe. And there thou shalt serve other gods. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Oh, you got uh, Jakes and um, uh, amongst Elam, which are the so-called East Indians, man. All right, and they served them gods uh, Shiva and, and Krishna, and um, uh, you got uh, um, this the Chinese Buddha, you know, and all these other gods, Molech. All right, 
Verse 65, And among these nations shalt thou find no ease, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. And that's how we know who Israelites are today. The Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Jehovah Bashem El Shai. Okay, and wherever we go, these curses follow us, man. All right, like I did a video um, not too long ago of this um, this chick. She's a model, um, Miss... Um, she was Miss Nagasaki in Japan, okay? Just like this dude, he's from Japan, okay? His parents, um, his mother's from Japan, his father's from uh, West Africa. I think it was the same thing with her, okay? Her father is, um, might have been Nigerian, or I got to go back and look it up. Or, or you know, just Wikipedia. But um, she was Miss Nagasaki, and I believe she became Miss Japan. Her father was an Israelite, and her mother was uh, Japanese. And she explained how growing up, the Japanese kids would tease her, all right, about her skin color. Would tell, would tell her not to come around her, uh, come around them. You know, not to, they wouldn't get in the same swimming pool with, with her, all right, for fear that her skin would, her dirty skin would rub off on them. You know, and they would call her uh, the Chinese word. I mean, the Japanese word for Negro, which I believe was Kurumbo. Okay, so wherever we go, man, we're gonna be shunned, all right. We're gonna be disliked. We're gonna be um, ridiculed. We're going to be uh, by words uh, uh, um, as according to the curses, man. All right. Amongst these heathen nations, man. OK. So this is just proof um, who the Israelites are today. It's proof that we're the Israelites, man. OK. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Mm hmm. It's like you. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. But the Lord, because we're always going to be harassed by these damn uh, heathen nations, man, starting with these Edomites, all right? That's why these heathen nations, they're going to pay for everything they're doing unto us, man. When, when we are set on top, all right, when we're put in a rulership seat and they're put into the slave, uh, uh, slave role, all right, which that's what they were created for anyway. They were created to be our slaves, all right? And when Yahweh Shah comes back, he's going to put everything in its proper place, all right? The Israelites on top, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, and the rest of the nation of Israel is going to come back through the loins of the elect, okay? And the heathen nations are going to be slaves to us, man. They're going to be our tributaries, man, okay? But the, and we're going to treat them the way they treated us, double, all right? Especially Esau, these damn Caucasians, man, so-called Caucasians. But the Lord, Yahweh Shem El Shai, shall give thee there a trembling heart and felling of eyes and sorrow of mind, see? And I'm going to end with this. This is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign to the people. And that's Yahweh Shai. To it shall the Gentiles seek. Okay, and that's talking about the Israelite foreigners, man. All right, and, and really, we're, is, we're uh, Gentiles, man, because we didn't know who we were, all right, at first, until the, the Spirit revealed it unto our elders, all right, and their elders of Great Millstone, okay, to reveal that unto us, okay, that we're Israelites, man, okay, that the so-called, uh, ignorantly so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native, and Seminole Indians are, in fact, the Israelites of the Bible, man, all right? But before that, we were in the Gentile state of mind, all right? Just like all of our uh, other, um, um, all the other Israelites around the world are in the Gentile state of mind, okay, that don't know they're Israelites, okay? So, to it shall the Gentiles seek, okay, and what's that ensign? Um, um, this truth, man, okay, of us being Israelites, okay? And when we get that truth, that knowledge, the Most High breathes that, that spirit into us, that life into us, all right? And we wake up, man, all right? Pursuing to Ezekiel 37, you know? And his rest shall be glorious. And, and that's, that's um, what's coming, all right? When we, when we enter into the kingdom, Lord willing, we're part of the elect, okay? We're ushered into the kingdom, all right? But when all the Israelites are brought back into the kingdom, all right, we're going to be at rest, man, okay? And our rest is going to be glorious, Okay, and the nations, they're going to know that we are the people of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai. All right, for a fact. All right, it's not, it's not going to be any doubts then. Okay, the Lord's going to, going to show the nations who is his true people, who is his, his uh, people, the Israelites. Verse 11, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set a, a hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. All right, just like he did uh, in Egypt. All right, when he brought us up out of Egypt, he delivered us up out of Egypt. Well, the Lord's going to do the same thing for us today when he delivers us up out of um, America, which is modern day Egypt. All right, America's modern day Egypt. The Lord's going to um, redeem his his um, people, the Israelites, out of America. Okay, through starting with his elect. 
All right, should I say, starting with his elect, okay? And that's going to trickle down to the rest of the Israelites, all right? So um, the, the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros, okay, and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. So that's all the different nations around the world, man, okay? The Lord's going to uh, uh, d deliver um, Israelites from around the different parts of the world, okay? And they're going to they're going to look like other nations, man. All right, until he changes their body, man. Okay, give them new bodies. Verse twelve, and he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcast of Israel, see, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. See that? So the Lord's going to gather together all the Israelites from the four corners of the earth. All right, that are that are um, a part of the elect. Because remember, the elect are going to be the ones ushered in to the kingdom. Okay. And those that don't get down with the program, all right, as the scriptures say, I'm going to just quote it, roughly paraphrasing, okay, or roughly phrasing, all right, those um, that will not bow to Yahweh Bashemel Shai, he's going to bring them before him and slay them, okay? He's talking about Israelites, man, all right, because you're going to have a lot of jakes, all right, that, that's in these other nations, that's in these other countries, all right, that do look like uh, other nations, all right, um, they're going to get that, that, that knowledge, all right, of Yahweh Shai and them being Israelites, okay? Yahweh Shai coming to redeem them and, and uh, the knowledge of them being Israelites. And if they don't get down with the program, the Lord's just going to slay them, okay? The Lord's only uh, uh, coming back to deliver his elect, all right? The, the two thirds here in America are going to be uh, cast into the lake of fire when those ICBM missiles are shot off, all right? And those are, uh, Israelites around the world that don't want to get with the program, the Lord's just going to slay them, man, all right? But yeah, man. Uh, the point of this video is that Israelites are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, all right, and they look like all nations, man, okay? The Israelites going to look like all nations, all right? So, yeah, man, major cut on these um, these dudes, all right, that are out here teaching contrary to the truth, okay? But, yeah, go check this guy out, Rui H uh, Hachimura, all right? And when you see him play, man, you're going to be like, hey, that ain't no, that ain't no Japanese, man. Okay, they ain't no Ammonite. That's an Israelite. 